All right, so, you know, just here alone, you know, California has, um, there's a new proposition that's coming up for vote this year around marijuana and um, legalizing recreational use. And of course, we're based right here in Nevada City. It's kind of become like a primary um, in the agriculture business. Uh, means a big source for people, not just for income, for medicinal use, recreation use, growing it here. So it's near and dear to many people's heart when we talk about marijuana cultivation and legalization. And there's been some ordinances recently um, just to even ban outdoor growing here. So we'll see how that impacts our area. And I bring all this up because my guest, um, Matthew O'Connor, he came all the way from London, from England, and his film is California High, The Great Marijuana Debate. So first, welcome, Matthew. Thank you. It's good to have nice you to back. Yeah. yeah. Coming yeah. all the way. Like, what was your compelling reason to be here and coming all the way from England to showcase this film? Um, I think there's a few reasons. Um, I, I feel that it's an important festival, and it raises quite a lot of important issues. Um, and also, I think this is at the... We, we interview a lot of different people in the film that are involved in the marijuana business across all kinds of segments. Um, but this is a huge part, the people that are here are a huge part of that story. As, as, you, as everybody knows, this is a, a large growing area. There's a lot of people involved in it. There's a lot at stake for the people here. And I, I feel it's important to come and get people involved in it, in the debate, who are, um, it, who it affects, essentially. And your film presents a balanced representation of just some different inputs about what's around uh, marijuana legalization. So ha have you had a chance while you were here to talk to other people about this? And their I have. Personal? Yeah. yeah, what have you yeah. learned so far just being here in Nevada County? Uh, well, I think um, what has been interesting is even here, which is a, uh, a well-known growing area, a lot of people involved in it, uh, there are people who are pro-legalization and there are people who are anti-legalization for all kinds of reasons. And yeah. what's interesting about that is that reflects what we're, what we're saying in the documentary, essentially. Um, Did you have any predisposition, like as far as your own personal beliefs around this when you set out to make the film? I think, I think when, when we began, um, we, it, it's myself and my brother, uh, he's my co-directing partner. So yeah. we actually directed the film together. We worked with some very good producers as well to help us put it together. But we had a friend in Los Angeles who was growing and he was, um, he was growing medical marijuana in line with state law and he was busted. And then he had to go through the whole um, process of clearing his name in the courts. And he was telling us this story and we were kind of following it over several months. Um, and I just thought, this is such a complicated situation that he's in. I mean, he's growing it in line with state law, but he's still been arrested by the LAPD. He's still in court. He still has a, a huge amount of stress and uncertainty and worry and the lawyer's fees. Um, and that was actually the seed that, that started, okay, well, let's explore, let's explore the rest of the issue. Um, from from this starting point. Yeah. yeah, and what did you? I'm curious. Like, what did you find out, and then did that sway you and your brother in one way or another in thinking? You know, I'm just curious on the personal part. What do you think? Well, uh, as in, which way do I think the vote will go? Or? Yeah, like you know, having now had the opportunity to talk to so many different people and get different input. Yeah, what do you think about what might happen with the vote? And um, I think a lot of people assume that it will pass. And a lot of people assume there will be recreational marijuana use in California. Um, I think one of the things that I realized, though, is there is a lot of resistance to that, even from people that are already growing marijuana, even from people that are already involved in the industry, yeah. because actually they, they, they do stand to lose a lot. And I think, um, or potentially they stand to lose a lot, especially if large corporations get involved. Um, big Pharma gets involved. Uh, the, it's a mom and pop business. Growing is a mom and pop business at the moment. And it's one of the few mom and pop businesses within the US. Yeah. So if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you, bring in <coughs> if you bring in the big chains and much larger companies, um, that, that's, that, that will change Starts the landscape. Yeah. Someone was saying even in Colorado, what like uh, Marlboro was creating, um, was now producing um, 
marijuana, like whether it's uh, marijuana, cigarettes, joints. Yeah. Have you heard about that? Am I, I making that up? I, I, I just heard, I think I heard that just recently. Well, I, I think, I, I don't want to speak out of time because sure. there's all kinds of, so you know, you hear a lot of things. But, exactly. but I, uh, one of the things that I have heard is that um, th there are quite a small number of large um, collectives in Colorado. Uh, but but that yeah so I, I think there is that danger. Um, what has been Matthew? What do you want people then to take away from this film? And for folks who aren't based here in California, even mm. you know what do you as far as what do they need to know around this, even in their own states, uh, and also just for their own involvement, right, mm. in taking action in something that's important to them. Well, what, the reason that we picked California, uh, I mean, this film is very specifically about California. Um, but the reason that we did that is because I think in being very specific, you make, you make it quite universal in the sense that um, California is an economic powerhouse in the US. It is a political powerhouse. There's a lot that comes out here. Big button? Oh. It's okay. Sorry, okay. It's like, you're um, good. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, there's, I mean, there's a lot that comes out of here in the sense that you've got Hollywood, you've got Silicon Valley, you've got a huge uh, portion of the uh, electoral votes come from California. And what the, the decision that California makes in November, which everybody here will be involved in that vote, has, will, will have a knock on effect to a lot of the other states It'll in the create US. A, and we're like pioneers yeah, here yeah. in California. What were some of the biggest surprises for you that you discovered in researching this and talking to people from all areas of this issue, whether they're against it or for it? I think the biggest surprise is that a lot of people against legalization are people that are already growing marijuana. Hmm. What do they want to see? Well, I, I, I think... Um, I can understand why they're against sure, legalization sure. because I guess what they would like to see is they want to protect their financial position. And what they're worried about is if recreational use comes along and full legalization comes along, then that will massively, adversely impact um, their revenue. And I can totally understand that position. I mean, I think anybody could. If, sure, I, if sure. I said to you, uh, would you please vote for this, and you knew that that would potentially half or quarter your income. Um, that would be difficult. But it's for the greater good. Exactly. That's a hard, that's a hard, hard judgment call to make. Yeah. And, and, and yet also when I heard a lot of the public comments during our recent county supervisor meeting, you know, most people were for some kind of regulation mm. that would decriminalize, decriminalize them, right? So that they could, they could uh, have this business for their families and not feel like they're criminals doing mm. something illegal. Mm. Have you heard much about that and talking to other people on that angle or even your friend that was growing? Well, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, can you just... Well, just even, you know, it seems like they want some kind of regulation uh, for a lot of the growers. You know, they don't want to be treated like criminals. So mm. it is kind of a slippery slope in trying to figure out what that looks like then. Well, that's, I mean, that's a very difficult position is, I mean, that's a very hard... Do you hard have all the answers, Matthew? No, I, well, I, I, no unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> um, but, but like you say, that's a difficult position because on the one hand, you, well, I don't want to be treated like a criminal, but we don't want it to be legalized completely. Yeah, it's tricky. Because, uh, and, and, and I think but that's, that's at the essence of what was interesting about the documentary to us, is you, you end up with these, these paradoxes um, and almost these ambivalent feelings that, that people have. Um, yeah. 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 So, and what's going to happen with your film now? I know right now you're working on distribution. Yeah. Um, well, we have um, we have a, um, a, a video on demand. It was going to launch on 420. So we have a very exciting video on demand deal um, in the pipeline. And uh, also we're looking for community screening. Uh, so if, if anybody is interested in hosting a community screening, if anybody's watching or if anybody's out there, um, Please get in touch. Can, can I put my... Yeah, yeah? totally. It's, um, okay, so if anybody would like to host the community screening, um, if you could email me, it's Matthew at uh, M-A-T-T-H-E-W at uh, what's the 420, W-H-A-T-S, the, uh, and then 420.com. What's been everyone's reaction here who's seen the film? Well, I, I, I think it's been quite good. It's, it has, it's always okay. a bit odd as a... Sure. As a, you know, you never know because I guess the people that don't, 
either the people that really like it or the people that don't like it, you know, they're the ones that you hear from. Yeah, <laughs> I, was I was curious in the Q and A's if it created any kind of dialogue. It did, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of there was a lot of discussion in yeah. the Q and A. Interesting. Um, but I, I think I think the the what's one of the interesting things is people here they they know a lot about the the local laws and the local situation and we we're trying we're, we're putting it on a slightly larger level in the sense of if if california votes for legalization the u.s will probably follow suit and in turn i think that will affect a large part of the world as well so true so yeah, true because the u.s yeah. leads um drug policy really from, yeah yeah what would be um what would you want to tell everyone about why it's so important to participate in a film fest like Wild and Scenic? Knowing that you came from across the country, across, basically across the ocean, to be here with us. Okay. Um, well, I think there's a, a number one. It's great fun, which is which is always very nice. There's a lot of uh, very important issues that are that are being discussed here, and um, there's a lot of intelligent discussion actually in the sense that um, you know with documentaries it's very easy to to push a, a a particular agenda, and but I feel that a lot of the stuff that's here is is uh, is very informed. It's yeah, you know, very well put together. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, Matthew. The okay. film is California High: The Great Marijuana Debate, yeah. and it was so Brilliant. great to have. Yeah, Thank so you nice very to much. have you up here, Matthew. Thank and you. Thanks. Thank you, you for have having to come me. Back. Yeah, my pleasure. Absolutely. I'm the longest serving um, marijuana employee in the United States. I've been working 22 consecutive years, 70 hours a week to legalize marijuana. Normal is America's marijuana lobby group. We believe that the responsible use of marijuana by adults is no business of the government and it should be legal and taxed like alcohol and tobacco products. A lot of these people believe in open society which is people can do whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want, basically without consequence. And that's why we're seeing today some of the highest drug usage in America in a generation. And that to me is just pure evil. What the drug legalization crowd across the US and across the world has to understand is they will never beat us. We are impassioned, we are motivated, and we are never gonna give up. Strategically speaking, we are obsessed with California. We believe that if you can flip California, you can flip America. If you flip America, you flip the world on cannabis. Mm -hmm.